In this channel, we've talked a lot about prime numbers. We've defined them. We've told you about different classes of prime numbers. We've talked about some of the properties uh, that these classes of prime numbers have. But one of the things we haven't done so far is talked about applications of prime numbers. Uh, you know, the natural question, where are they actually used in the real world? Uh, so what we're going to do in this video is sort of give you a nice sort of motivating example of the use of prime numbers in the real world. Now most of us are rather familiar with the internet and we're also aware that we can actually buy goods and services on the internet using a credit card. How is that secure and what do prime numbers have to do with the security of that payment system? So let's give you a sense of how uh, prime numbers are actually used in cryptography and how they could be uh, used in security of payment systems, for example, on the internet. Let's consider two prime numbers, right? So we have P1 is one prime number and P2 is another prime number. And let's assume that both of these prime numbers are actually large prime numbers. So what that means is maybe they are uh, 100 uh, digits large or they might even be 500 uh, digits large right so these are really large prime numbers and what we're going to do is you're going to multiply the two together so that's p1 times p2 now if you multiply the two together let's assume we get a number m now when we go in this direction i.e if we multiply these two together and we want to get to m that computation is actually easy. Now it's not very easy by hand, but it's easy for a computer to do it. Now if you want to go in the other direction, so for example if I gave you M, I did not give you P1, P2, I just gave you M, and I said can you work out P1 and P2, the i.e. I'm essentially going in this direction from M, I want to work out P1 and P2, that actually turns out to be hard. In fact it's not hard, it turns out to be very hard. And it's precisely this asymmetry, i.e. going in this direction, which is easy, and going in the other direction, which turns out to be hard, this asymmetry is precisely what helps us to develop secret codes. Okay. Now, it should be mentioned that there's in fact no efficient method known to find factors of large numbers. So, uh, doing this, even with a computer, is actually really, really hard. Let's look at how uh, security of payments on the internet could possibly work. Imagine that we're trying to buy something on the internet and one option for paying for uh, whatever we buy is, is usually through a credit card. It's not the only option, but that usually is one of the options. So what we need to do is we need to send our credit card details, but clearly we only want the merchant to see the credit card details. You certainly do not want anybody in the middle to see your card details. Now the browser needs the public key encryption method of the merchant. So the merchant shares the encryption key, which uses the number M. Revealing M does not disclose its factors, which are very, very hard to determine. Now the browser uses the encryption key to encode the credit card number. And when the encrypted message comes to the merchant, the merchant uses the private decryption method to reveal the actual information. And this uses knowledge of P1 and P2, which is known only to the merchant. Now this sort of secure mechanism is known as public key crypto system. And the essence is the following, that the key to the encryption method is public. So the merchant can disclose M publicly, but knowledge of the factors P1 and P2 are actually kept private. And we've already mentioned that going from P1 and P2 to M is actually easy, but working out P1 and P2 from M is horrendously difficult. 
What we've just described is uh, you know, a slightly simplified uh, version of what really goes on. If you wanted to know uh, all the details, then we highly recommend that you look at one of the first public key crypto systems, uh, which is RSA, and it is extremely widely used for uh, secure data transmission. So if you look that up on the internet, you'll, you'll get all the details that you want. But the idea here was to give you uh, some sense of the importance of prime numbers uh, in the real world today.